After that finale, that amazing finale, I feel like a lot of us are in the same boat right now where we're just looking forward to Phase 2 and especially the next piece of Kingdom Hearts content we'll be receiving this year in Kingdom Hearts Dark road dark road you gotta follow up this amazing finale now i'm not gonna lie that that's gonna be pretty hard but knowing nomura he's probably just gonna do something even crazier than what we just saw but still it, it might be pretty difficult to follow up a finale a story like union crosses but dark road it's all on you in september the ending of kingdom hearts union cross the final scene led perfectly into dark road uh, we saw brain waking up in scala at kylum and we saw ephemer a statue of ephemer as the first keyblade master who founded this civilization who founded this world and the next adventure we're going to be on uh in september when all of the story drops when the rest of the story drops is we're going to be in that world likely seeing the end of it i'd assume what this world branched off into what we know would be people like sora be people like aqua terra the guardians a scattered world but still a very dark one we don't see this area that we see in scala in the ending in dark road at all or even in kingdom hearts 3 and kingdom hearts 3 remind so i really wonder like if scala just change its aesthetic over time or if this is just a completely different island different area in dark road they actually say that all of the other islands are apparently abandoned at that point but they must have been used for something at some point right so i don't know if slowly over time if that civilization started branching off more and more into other worlds or perhaps something started happening and a lot of people started dying or just something crazy started happening. But still a small civilization still lives on and people like Ericus, Master Odin, the upperclassmen and the classmates we know right now. The world of Dark Road is very, very interesting because with Ephemer being the first master in Dark Road or being the first master, well, in Scala and Kylum in general. And we now know that he has apparently passed and Brain very likely is probably going to be like the second master of something or will eventually lead to people like Ericus and Xehanort running about. Galad Kalim was around for a decent bit of time, a pretty lengthy time frame if you add up like these characters ages or assumed ages. Let's assume Ephemer lived to his like 80s or something like that similar to Xehanort, and then passed on, you know, that role to somebody else, or branched off into a council of people running Scala, Kylum and Brain happened to arrive during that time period, and then maybe add another 50 years to Brain's life, because we know he's the grandfather, or we don't know, but we can assume that he's likely the grandfather of Ericus, or is related to him in some way, shape, or form, because I mean, come on, they, they look too similar, and Brain used to have Master Defender, Ephemer has Master Defender, at that point but i feel like brain's probably going to get it back now because ephemer is gone so i wonder where master defender is or who has it but just adding another 50 years to brain's life before ericus and xana really start doing their thing before their story starts and you already have like well over a hundred years of scala being around just by the time xana and ericus are around dark road the first couple episodes we've gotten already were actually very very good i talked about this in a video in the past it is a little weird for its story to drop all at once but i definitely prefer it to monthly updates so dark we're releasing all its story i'm pretty excited for that to happen at the end of september and i i, I wonder if it's going to be as good as union cross i really do wonder this is a xehanort story so they do have the benefit with dark road of already having pre-established characters that we know about well at least two uh with ericus and xehanort having those two established characters is going to do a lot for people going into dark road who are going to start this story once all of it drops or even people who are continuing it like myself because it creates that sense of like familiarity and you know what these characters end up being so you're looking at their story for the little details rather than to figure out what's going on if that makes any sense. Like, we already know how Xehanort's story ends, but we don't know the in-betweens of it, so we're paying attention to all of these little details happening in Xehanort's story, his come-up, same with Ericus, and their, like, basically childhood, because Ericus being a best friend of Xehanort, training Terra, Aqua, and Ven, and Master Xehanort being, well, the whole villain in the Kingdom Hearts series, so we want to find out more about them, so that 
sense of interest is there so much. But man, I'm excited. Uh, I want to make like another full fledged prediction video for Dark Road. I'll likely do that sometime over the summer. Maybe we'll get more news on Dark Road or maybe we'll get news on another Kingdom Hearts project with all of these gaming events going on. Who knows? But let me know down below what you think. What are you excited for with Kingdom Hearts Dark Road? Do you guys think Dark Road is going to be like a good follow-up to Union Cross? Do you guys think it's going to be a better follow-up perhaps? Or do you think it's going to fall flat? I don't know. This is a good discussion going. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Share the video with a friend or a family member. And last but not least, if you have not already and want to become a part of the Union, all you have to do is hit that red little subscribe button down below. My name is Prodigy, and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out, you guys. Bye. Now she's a daydreamer. She's not good enough for him when you think that she is perfect.